What's up YouTube? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Today we are going to the MGIA Snow Show, I believe it is. Uh, me and Ethan Hammond are going up there and we are going to go look at some snow removal equipment. Uh, it should be pretty dope. It's kind of like a mini Equip Expo. So at the gas station right now, filling up my truck. This pump is super slow. I've been here for a really long time, but uh, guys, I got a new back rack, transfer tank, and toolbox in the truck. What do you guys think of that? I think it looks pretty dope back here, but uh, yeah, I grabbed a Red Bull. Uh, a little tired this morning, but it is what it is. Um, man, I'm probably be here for another 20 minutes waiting for the slow pump, but I'll see you guys at the snow show. Hopefully we can find Ethan while we're there. Oh boy, who does this guy think he is? Shoo! In the Silverado. Ooh, he's got a Duramax in there too. Ooh, look at this rig. What's up, Ethan? What's up, Henry? Nice How to are see you? you, bro. It's been a minute. Yeah, it has been a minute since I've been on the channel, but it's all right. <laughs> Here today, and this is like, this is like a pre-GIE or pre-equip. Yeah. So once we get this done, it's on to the main event, the main party. A lot of content coming. Yeah. So you guys have to stay tuned because uh, Ethan and I and a whole bunch of other teen entrepreneurs are going down to equip expo in what's that three weeks maybe three, three weeks, weeks four weeks maybe three four weeks and it's going to be pretty sweet down there we're going to get a lot of content for you guys at least that's the goal but content, ethan's gonna fun. ethan's gonna hold me accountable to that so we're gonna get that content rolling yep. um but man who just pulled in over here we gotta oh, we gotta go say what's up it's a celebrity over there oh boy oh boy all right so we're walking into the show now actually got Brian with us. What's hey, up, Brian. dude? What's up, guys? Saw so your truck in the parking lot. Um, yeah. What are you? Uh, what are you here to see today? Just kind of get some content, or what's the deal? Uh, a little bit of everything, man. I uh, first off, just mentally, it helps me like get my head in the game. Totally. Snow. I mean, that's I mean, why I'm here. Yeah. I mean, we've been sending out contracts for like the last 30, 45 days, which for like a lot of you guys. Last 48 hours, I've sent out probably 20 commercial snow quotes, 20 residential prepay uh, quotes, if you will. Except I get all that. I had two quotes this morning there for uh, landscaping, hopefully some new snow. So that's always good. Uh, but I just like seeing all the new equipment. I am picking up a vo uh, box, V box, uh, 8000 series uh, spreader, the new okay. VDX Plus. Ooh. So I'm checking out that. That's on order with Weingarts. Um, and beyond that, I don't know. We'll always see what's new. There's always something new, right? Yeah. So, I mean, looking at the show, it seems like they kind of downsized it. Maybe. It's a smaller show. Smaller show. Smaller but... show. But you know what? Even if it's a smaller show, smaller presence, it's all about networking and uh, making friends. So and that's what it's all about. You know, this is kind of the pregame for Equip Expo next month. So uh, it's all exciting. Yeah, take this times a thousand. <laughs> exactly. That's Equip Expo. <laughs> Get your tickets. Sweet. Yeah. Well, let's see what they got. Yeah, I do have um, regular see that one. She said. And out here at the, I believe it's STE uh, Southern Truck Equipment booth. They sell anything from Boss Plows to actually. Right here, this commercial division from Ford, they sell the package with the boss plow and the trucks. So this is pretty dope. You can get a, this might be a, I don't know, 8.2 or 9.2 boss V plow. And then you can get it paired up with a brand new F350 as a package. So this right here, the truck alone is 52,000, but he said with the plow, it's 62,000. So that actually makes life easy because you can buy the truck and the plow at the same time. You don't have to waste going to your dealer, getting the plow installed. So that's actually pretty dope. Um, obviously, you know, if I had a bigger company, that's probably what I would be doing. So, but I don't know if I'd be buying Fords. That's the thing. How much are one of these? So for just the retro thing, you're about 12.5. You're probably get to buy the head gear. It's gonna be close to 18 if you don't have a truck already out. Okay. So check out this thing, it's pretty dope. So question for you, um, so this style plow versus like a regular V plow, what are the benefits of this thing? Benefit is going to be your carrying capacity with the Razorback plow. One being, if you look here, you have your full carrying capacity of your mold board. Okay. For a V blade, you know, you only have this much carrying capacity. Yeah. You know, so you can push a lot more snow with a scoop design plow. Uh, you're also going to have superior scraping ability with our plow because of the sectional technology. It's got five independent sections that allow you to put 
pressure onto the pavement that you're plowing and really conform to that pavement so you get a much better scrape. And it's a lot better for salting and brine operations because it'll burn off okay. that remaining residue. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then does this have any back drag features, any down pressure? Just, just curious. So with the Bosch, you'll get a little more uh, down pressure with the direct lift cylinder. Um, but you don't need that down pressure if you're applying pressure where it's needed. Because, you know, your traditional solid moldboard street plate is going to teeter-totter on the high points where it just will conform exactly to the pavement that it's plowing. Okay. Um, and it, it'll, it'll pop up on curbs, so you're not going to... Definitely. Definitely. Not going to mess anything up. And same thing with back dragging. You know, you want to be able to put the down pressure where needed. You also can do a reverse um, scoop with this plate as well. Okay. So you can see right here how much more steering capacity you have in reverse. Definitely. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. So check out the Arctic uh, Razorback and Straight Blade. Sweet. All right, so now we're hanging out in the back of this truck. Just curious, what kind of setup do you have here in the rear? Yeah, definitely. So how many times in the winter do you see a truck with its back wheels off the <laughs> ground with a plow? All the time. Yeah, and the traditional way to put weight if you don't have a salter in the back is you gotta load up with sandbags. Well, that's a mess because the sandbags break and so forth. So we came out with this rear hitch ballast um, kit. It's an adjustable weight between seven and 900 pounds. It goes right in your rear hitch, but it keeps the bed of your truck open. So if you're a contractor okay. yeah. or something, you can still use your bed. You can put a snowblower in the back and so forth. And this is stable weight too. You know, it's not bouncing around the Definitely. back of your truck. And it's lower, it's hanging off the back of the truck, but it's to counter balance the weight of the plow in the front of the truck. So you get a lot better traction when plowing. Okay, very nice. I, I like the setup on this truck. Yeah, retail on this is about $1,350. Okay, so. very nice. Well, thank you. What was your name? John with well, Arctic. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. So checking this thing out, what is this? The multi-hog. What is the use of this thing? It's got a tiny like little three-foot plow and it's as long as a full-size pickup. I'm just... I'm curious. I'm assuming this is a salter back here. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on here. Hey, Brian. Brian? Yeah, Cooper. I'm Henrik. Henrik. Nice to meet That's you. Cool name. What's, uh, what, what are we looking at here? This is our all one-man multi-purpose machine. It's purpose-built for every job you could probably think of in, uh, you know, in terms of landscaping, snow removal, Pretty much any job you can think of, we've got an attachment and tool for it. Sweet! Ethan's climbing up in the 908 Cat. <laughs> Very spacious. Yeah, it gets... So this is what it looks like, you know, on the outside. Good overhead view or what? Oh yeah, plenty. I'm sure this is all camera and stuff. We've got all your controls and stuff. Ready to go. Yeah. This is a key. Would you plow all night long in this thing? Oh, I would plow all night long. <laughs> What's up guys? We're hanging out here at the Weingarts booth. Nothing but Boss product here. Um, and a Kubota. Kubota diesel. What do you think of this setup? It's kind of dope. A little UTV with the V-blade up front. This thing would be pretty dirty on some big sidewalks. I'd drive it. Look at that thing. Enclosed cab with some heat. It's got a mini little V-blade. What is this? Little? Six, six and a half foot. I like it. I mean, honestly, guys, snow is probably my favorite thing to do. Never had a bad day plowing snow. Uh, really? I love snow plumbing. I could probably hang out here all day. Even though it's a tiny little show, they got everything from snow plows to trucks to loaders, literally everything here. Um, let's see what else they got at this booth. Sweet little spreader. We've had nothing but issues with spreaders. Haven't tried this Echo one yet, so that might be the next purchase. $5.99, but uh, we viewed all, all sorts of different brands of these spreaders, and they all break, they all break. So maybe we'll try the Echo this winter and see if it holds up to the abuse. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hey, so I'm hanging out here with uh, Brian at the Wine Guards booth. We're just checking out some Snow Raiders, some uh, some snow equipment. Brian, can you just tell me about these different Boss Snow Raiders real quick? Yeah, so we got the Boss uh, Snow Raider, the Scout. This is the new one for this year. Um, so some differences. It still keeps the same blade as the original Snow Raider. Uh, it's a four foot blade. What you don't have is you're not putting any kind of drop salter on here. It's strictly just a snow pusher. Um, so being that it doesn't have the drop salter, there's no brine tank on it. It's basically just for pushing snow. Um, so it's going to have a mid steel chassis on it versus stainless steel on the bigger one up here. Okay. Um, and then this is a new machine, correct? Yeah, this is brand new for this year. So this was kind of created for people not looking to put down salt and just kind of a cheaper price point. Yep, just to push snow. Um, like I said, not dropping any salt or anything. That's why they went with the mid steel uh, versus the stainless steel on the mid one here. Okay. You mind so, if we walk over here and check this one out? Yeah. So this is the, the original Boss Orator. Um, this design has been out for a number of years. Very uh, tried and true. So it's uh, it's come a long way. The boss has really done a great job with it. So, okay. And this then... one you can do a drop spreader on it. It's not on there right now. But you can do a drop spreader. It also has a brine tank. It's on the back here. Okay. So you got your brine, your wands. So that comes standard on this Boss Snow Raider. You also got the fur trays for salt. You could also do a bucket mount trays on those as well if you want to do buckets. Very nice. And then the machine on the end here. This is also kind of a newer machine. Yeah, so this is uh, the third season now that the, the mag has been out, I believe. Um, so this one you still got, this is the drop spreader. This is the same drop spreader. Uh, that is on that you can uh, put on this model in the middle so with this one it's all hydraulic driven so you do have a v-blade you can do a straight blade you have a broom and then they also have a snowblower for it as well so this is uh, a good bigger unit it's going to be a little bit heavier and then the engine the horsepower this is a 26 horse uh, polar fuel injected engine Okay. So you're going to get a lot more power for pushing um, and a lot more versatility for different um, types of snow that we get. Okay, so we're kind of looking at good, better, best then. Yes. Okay.